So what I have here is I went to Walmart and I bought the cheapest shotgun I could find. It's a hundred and ninety-seven dollars. It's a pump action tri-star shotgun. I think they're made in like Turkey or some some one of the Middle Eastern countries, I don't know. So it's a 410, but it has an improved choke in it and it's removable. So I thought that was pretty neat. I wanted to give it a try today. I've never even been dove hunting. I've never even shot clays. Um, and I brought a 410 to something probably I should have brought a 12 gauge to. Will I hit anything? Probably not. I mean, it probably won't hit shit. Um, is it a good gun? I don't know. Probably not for $197. Most likely not. It's not that 20 gauge that Chris brought, I can tell you that. But we're going to give it a try. Anyway, I'll let you know what we think of it for the price. We're both going to try it out. We're, we'll let you know what we think when we're done, okay? Well, we'll get back with you when we get out there. Hopefully, we'll have some fun and get some doves. Hope so. We're going to go dove hunting today. Yep. Up here in Alexander, yep. North Carolina. Sandy Mush Game Land. Sandy Mush Game Land, 10 4. So tell me about that shotgun you brought with us today. Uh, I brought a, a Remington 11 48 20 gauge. It's first time getting a try it out. Hopefully it does good. Uh, All right. Got it plugged. It's got a poly choke on it. So poly choke. Why don't you explain what that is? It's just a choke on the end of the barrel and you can turn it to full, modified. You don't have to have extra chokes. You can just leave it on there and turn it. All right. So you don't have to take a choke out, put another choke in? No. Nope. So you mind if we get a look at that, yep. how that works? All right. Let's take a look at this. All right. So here we are. It's on extra full now, and you just turn it where you want it. It's so the tighter you turn it, the tighter the pattern. The tighter it gets. So you can turn it all the way out to slug or all the way into extra, extra full. Extra full, sure can. It's got collets in there, and it just squeezes down on the barrel. All right, so that's really neat. So that I think, you know, that's old technology again. It is. That's something that people have been using for a really, really long time oh, that yeah. they just got away from. So why don't you show us how the barrel works in this? So this is a very unique system in the barrel of this gun, is it not? It is. It's a long recoil action shotgun. All long day. recoil action, yep. that's what it's called? Yep. The barrel slides down whenever you fire it. All right, I'm going to step back a little. Show, show, show how that did back here. So he's pulling down on the barrel. So like a Barrett, like a Barrett 50 cal, yep. that helps absorb that recoil when it fires. Sure does. It'll, it'll eject and the barrel will come back at the same time. So All right, so what's that chambered in? 20 gauge. 20 gauge. Two, two and three quarter and under. Okay, well that's cool. I really like that. So. What a pretty place. It is pretty. It opens up when you get on back here. Those mountains are beautiful though. Yeah. I can tell you, we live in a beautiful place, don't we? We do. I mean, honestly. You look, you be in a field like this and look around, you got mountain tops everywhere. Around everywhere. You. But won't live nowhere else. No, you know, you know me, I've lived, I'm from Maine, lived in Florida. Yeah. I've never lived anywhere in my life with this much constant natural beauty. Yeah. I've lived here, well, all my life. Lived in Tennessee for a short time. Well, in case you didn't know, you're not missing anything. <laughs> I've been up up to Delaware. That's far north, so I won't go for now. Maine's nice. It's a lot like this. It's, but, you know, um, just like anything else, legislation tends to really limit what people can do with do, their lives. Yeah. Here... I guess people that come from outside have had a little more respect yeah. still when it comes to, you know, making laws that affect y'all. Well, us yeah. all. Hell yeah, yeah it's, these states different too. Well, another thing I've noticed, you know, I've been here 10, well, 11 years now. Yeah. And um, everybody here has treated my family. Yeah. That's different from a lot of places you live, you know? A lot of places treat you like outsider yeah if, if you're not from there you know you just you're nobody yeah and you never will be yeah i guess around here it's just you come in and you don't try to change the culture try to just do your old thing and yeah yeah nobody really bothers you fit in yeah 
Uh, everyone's like, been good to me. I don't know if the microns is even dropping yet or not. You know, I noticed in my front yard there was some. Yeah, they are. Them pretty small ones too. Yeah, they're not very big this year. See, there's a lot of them on the ground yeah. right there. I ain't seeing many deer tracks coming in here like they usually do. It's you gonna be a tough winter this yep. year, I think, bud. I think this year's gonna be tough on the animal. Well, look, yeah, it is. Especially as dry as the summer as we've had. Well, look right here. This is open here. Mm -hmm. I think something just got up and flew that way. And then oh, they got this, sure. this part of this field here. And then you could go on down and then it joins another one. Let's take a look around. Let's take a look what we got going. You just go on out ahead. If one comes up, just pop it. Uh, I know they usually fly when you walk in. Dang on, look at the size of that field down there. That's, in the, that's at the end of the road out there. That's a big one. Well, he's down the edge of this corner. You wanna go down to the corner? Yeah, we can probably go to the corner. It'd probably be the best, yeah. best bet. That's there where I got peppered at. Well, that I day. won't doubt it. Look at that, look at that row over there. Yeah. Well, I take that back. That old wire's for the end of the road. Mm-hmm. And this is, you can see, I don't know if it actually joins it, but it does land-wise, but I don't know if you can walk through there. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. All kind of shotgun shells I'm walking Just over. Just some shells, yeah. already planted this and I think mill it the other day. Well something's coming up. Yeah. Looks like something winter, you know, winter crop. Yeah. Probably get the deer in. Wind's going to blow with season two, that'd be good. It still won't be so hot. <laughs> Can you get them Get the birds moving too. They plant this the same every year that I've noticed. Same rows of corn, same cover crop. That in the corner, they put them decoys out front right here. 15 yards or so. Yeah, we put them decoys right out here in the. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we could probably sit right here in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a good spot. Looks like somebody else had done been here at one point in time. That's... Huh? I'll give it a bath later. Yeah. You want to sit on that stool, Chad? I'll sit on the ground. Nah, that's alright. We'll get these set up. See if we can't get something to come in a little bit. I hope so, especially with these dead trees. Hopefully they'll they'll come in here and eat something before they go get water for the night. The river's off down that way. Probably five, six hundred yards. I guess we'll short stake it. <laughs> I 
too far over that little rise. Get it far enough out to where they can see it. I have four of these, Noah's got two of them. Island up here. They two up there cruising the jet stream. It's kind of cool sometimes you get out here and just look. Just look around. There's a third one up there. Just past it right there. Yep. Look at all them ones way up there. Yeah. They were way up there. Yeah. There's two way, uh, three way up there. My nose is probably done be bleeding. You know, I just, I think a lot of people, you know, they spend a lot of time on their phones. They spend a lot of time uh, worrying about things that don't matter. Yeah. It's times like this that you don't worry about them. Yeah. Just come out and whether you shoot anything or not doesn't really matter. I have fun either way. Yeah. Like this morning. Oh, oh that's a woodpecker. Well, I heard him over there a minute ago. Yep. Highlighted woodpecker. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. He's moving anyway. Well, they're starting to move now. Yeah. Well, they know with about an hour and 15 minutes, it'll be dark. So hopefully, the next few minutes, something will come through. At least over her something. Oh, that's a buzzer. I just catch a glimpse. Sometimes my eyes play tricks on me. Man, I think that's everybody, especially when you're looking for something. Yeah. So I've got some blind spots in my eyes anyway from where I've welded and stuff. Yeah, the old welder do that to yeah. you. You know, that's another thing. You know, people like us, we work hard whole life. And before you know it, it's over. And you haven't spent enough time out doing stuff like this with friends, that's you know. That's it. I like to enjoy getting out anyway. Yeah, it makes you forget about the things you do day to day. Yeah. You know, me and you work together, and we come out here, and very little of what we talk about is work. Yeah, hardly any. Yeah, I mean, we talk about family, and, you know, sometimes about religion, sometimes about, you know, our lives and things. Day-to-day -day things. You know? Yeah, those are things that matter. <laughs> Nothing. That one acted like he was uh, getting a little skittish. <laughs> this little gun cycles well. Does it? Yeah. This here done all right except for that first take up on the first shot. That was a shell. That was a shell. Look right though. over us. Look right over us. I seen feathers uh, off his tail end. Right behind him. Not behind him. Yeah, it was right behind him. Was you able to get one off? No. No, they were on that side of you. There wasn't no way. This little 20 gauge is doing pretty good.
Okay. That's what I shoot at. Right over top, it's over here. Yep, I see you. Oh, there's one. He's too still. Oh, look. Nope. $97 at Walmart. I probably put 10, 15, maybe 17 rounds through it today. Didn't hit anything because I suck at shooting a shotgun pretty much. I think that's it. But as far as function, you know, it's a little difficult to get around in because the 410 is so long. But other than that, it shoulders well. You get an immediate bead when you come up. It cycles really well. I think I had one or two times where I, I don't think I pulled the pump back hard enough since it's new. I don't think it's wore in yet. I think that was the problem there. But other than that, I think this TriStar for the money, you can't mess with it, I think. I think this beating through the woods, something that you don't really care about, I would go for it. I think this is a easy seven out of 10, especially for the value, maybe eight out of 10 value. I mean, this thing just, cycles just fine i mean that just ejected that round very little effort and it's super light i mean carrying this thing around feels like i'm carrying 22 i mean it's just it is light i really think it's a dream i, I think it's really nice i mean especially for the money if you got a kid that wants to come out and put some rounds down range i mean a little kid could shoot this there's no recoil and it's got this rubber butt stock in my opinion i mean it's great i, I don't think you can do any better for the money but, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you all have better luck than we did. Maybe you're just better at it than we are. I don't know. What do you think? We still had fun, though. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. And thanks to North Carolina Game Lands for doing this. But there's one more thing I want to show everybody before we leave. I want to show you what we collected out here today. And this is, um, I would consider this to be shameful and a little bit offensive other than what we shot you know we picked up what we shot i think i lost the 410 round or two that i couldn't find and we got every one of the rounds he shot because that 20 gauge is a little bigger but we're gonna look in this bag right here and i'm gonna show you guys what we found today look at that that was out here when we got here Look at this place. Look around. This is beautiful. And we have this resource that we can use. Guys, take care of what we have. Let's do our very best to take care of what we have. This may not last forever. And if we're disrespecting it, it surely won't last forever. Even if you just pick up what you shoot. Just pick up what you shoot. But always try to leave it a little better. Always try to leave it a little better than how you took left, how you got there. Always try to leave it a little better than when you got there. Take something out with you. So y'all have a good night. I hope you guys get out, enjoy the outdoors like we do. This is this is easily the most fun I've had in a long time. Even though we didn't see a single dove, we shot at some crows. What the heck? Way off. We missed them. But good company, good friends. Good times. That's right. Till Thanks. next time. Thanks for coming out.